prove that cot inverse of root 1 plus sin x plus root 1 minus sin x divided by root 1 plus sin x minus root 1 minus sin x is equal to x by 2. So you want to prove this n there is equal to x by 2. What we are going to do in this case is we are going to convert this root 1 plus sin x or 1 plus sin x I am writing it as 1 plus sin x only 1 plus sin x if I am writing 1 plus sin x if I want I can write it as see if I am just writing this as 1 I can write it as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 as 1 right so if I am writing 1 plus sin x is equal to cos x by 2 cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square you expand and check it see what will happen cos x cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 will sorry it should be plus so cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 will come so that is equal to 1 and uh, 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 what is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 that is equal to sin x itself so wherever this kind of problem 1 plus sin x is coming means we can replace it by cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square and 1 minus sin x will be replaced by what cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square that is what we are going to apply in this case. So the LHS will become the whole LHS will change into what cot inverse of the whole bracket you just look at this what is going to happen so root of what will happen 1 plus sin x it will be according to our new definition it is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square actually square root and square will vanish in the next step everything everywhere it will come like this root of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square whole divided by here also root of this plus will become cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square again plus root of cos x by 2 so minus it should be minus cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square so square root and square will vanish in the next stage you will be getting it as cot inverse of what do you get root of cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square will be like I said before square root and square will vanish cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 plus this also square root and square will vanish cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 whole divided by denominator will be cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 again minus of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 because minus sin is there I am putting the bracket over here and uh, so what will happen now cos x by 2 plus cos x by 2 will be 2 cos x by 2 cot inverse of see cos x by 2 plus cos x by 2 2 cos x by 2 sin x by 2 minus sin x by 2 will get cancelled so it will be 2 cos x by 2 divided by denominator look at this cos x by 2 minus cos x by 2 will get cancelled sin x by 2 minus of minus will become plus so plus cos sin x by 2 plus sin x by 2 will be 2 sin x by 2 2 sin x by 2 will come and uh, that will get cancelled 2 and 2 will get cancelled cos x by 2 by sin x by 2 will be cot x by 2 so cot inverse of cot x by 2 will get what is cot inverse of cot theta it is theta itself so in this case that is equal to x by 2 and that is our RHS. So what we have to remember from this case 1 plus sin x we have to rewrite it as rewrite it as cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square and 1 minus sin x we have to rewrite it as 
cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square there is another method also there the taking the conjugate of this one and we have to multiply the numerator and denominator still you will get the same answer but this will be if you remember this method to substitute it easily you will be getting within within uh, two or three steps you will be getting the answer as x by 2 as it is okay pause the video to note it down and move on to the next question prove that 9 pi by 8 minus 9 by 4 sine inverse 1 by 3 is equal to 9 by 4 sine inverse of 2 root 2 divided by 3 how to simplify that is I'm just going to take from LHS I'm writing first of all LHS I'm writing it as see in this first and second term 9 by 9 by 4 is common I'm taking it outside 9 by 4 if I take it outside what will be left 9 by 4 is taken outside means 9 is taken 4 is taken so pi by 2 will be there pi by 2 minus sine in 9 by 4 is being taken outside so sine inverse of 1 by 3 sine inverse of 1 by 3 so pi by 2 minus sine inverse of 1 by 3 is same as 9 by 4 see what is sine inverse 1 by 3 plus cos inverse 1 by 3 pi by 4 sorry uh, pi by 2 so then pi by 2 minus sine inverse 1 by 3 should be cos inverse according to that one cos inverse 1 by 3 correct cos inverse 1 by 3 what is the reason we have tried the reason as since sine inverse 1 by 3 plus cos inverse 1 by 3 is equal to what pi by 2 the result is it sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 means if sin inverse sin inverse 1 by 3 if you take it towards that side pi by pi by 2 minus sin inverse 1 by 3 is equal to cos inverse of 1 by 3 is that you wanted to prove no it should be sin inverse again so we have to convert this into sin inverse by using the triangle which we studied the right angle triangle by using the angle so cos inverse of 1 by 3 means this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse in this case. So angle is this one. How do I convert that into sin inverse means sin inverse should be opposite by the hypotenuse. So sin in this angle should be sin inverse should be sin inverse of opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite how do we get it? So root of what do you have to do? root of 3 square minus 1 square 3 square means it is 9 minus 1 so it should be root 8 root 8 is same as 2 root 2 that is what you wanted to get so the opposite side is 2 root 2 in this case so that is equal to 9 by 4 sine inverse of opposite by hypotenuse so that is equal to 2 root 2 divided by hypotenuse is 3 that is our RHS Hope you understood. So, Bright Education Center, Medical and Engineering Entrance Coaching Center, Hilal area, Doha, Qatar. For further inquiries, contact 3060679.